art. It's what separates man from beast. From the early days wherein our ancestors scrawled animals they sought to consume to survive on cave walls, to the modern day where human ingenuity has allowed us the free time to pursue art as a hobby, it goes without saying that art has long been a part of our culture. Today, I aim to capture a thin slice of that culture. And so, I contacted five of my friends for a challenge. I requested this of them. I need you to open up Paint, Microsoft's smash hit art production program included in every version of Windows since version 1.0, please. Done. You're welcome. Okay, then what? Followed by, you have one minute to draw a butterfly. Be as detailed as you want, but at the conclusion of the minute, you must stop and post the results. Begin the 60 second interval at your leisure. No, I really don't want to draw a butterfly. And so, everyone accepted. I ensured that each of the five people were all from different countries, and that none of them knew each other to guarantee that there's no cross-contamination of influences. So, without further ado, let's begin the critique. First, we have Classy from Belarus with his piece Unknown.png. His submission was one of only two pieces to include color. As you can see, he went for the popular bird's eye perspective for his piece. His butterfly features pink wings, with four circles, one for each of the bends. I'll discuss the pink nature of the butterfly at another time. The circles were, presumably, all meant to be white. Unfortunately, this artist ran out of time before doing so. It should be noted that this butterfly features only two wings, which is unusual for butterflies, as they naturally have four wings. Surprisingly, however, this won't be the least number of wings we see on a butterfly in this video. This is also one of only two butterflies to not feature antennae. On top of that, this butterfly appears to only have a single strip of a body, where butterflies naturally have three segments. Is the piece depicting a genetic mutation? A deformation of the natural butterfly state? Were these simply oversights or intentional? It's impossible to say. Nevertheless, the soft, inviting color of the wings leaves behind a pleasant feeling. Overall, a lovely piece, Classy. Now we have Yanosh from Canada, with his entry being known as OneMenButter.png. This was the previously mentioned piece to also contain color. From here on out, it's black and white. Much as with Classy's submission, Yanosh went for the same pink color on the wings. It should be noted, dear viewer, that pink butterflies actually do not exist anywhere on the planet. So the choice of these two artists to use this color technically classifies these two pieces as surrealist art. Yonosha's piece is much more colorful, however. He went above and beyond, choosing no less than six individual colors. In fact, famous Twitter artist Rabarchi remarked that of all the pieces, this was his favorite because of the color choices. I, however, am not here to choose favorites, only to remark on the merits of each. On top of the vast color usage, Yonosha was also the only artist to include scenery. The subject appears to be perched on a branch, where all other butterflies in this video will merely be floating in the void. The perspective of this piece is difficult to judge, but no matter the case, it's apparent that this butterfly features a single wing, seemingly attached to the top of the butterfly, almost like a dorsal fin. No doubt, flight would be impossible for this particular specimen. This butterfly also, much like Classy's submission, contains one singular long piece for a body. However, it does feature two antennae and six legs, which is an accurate count. This is also the only submission in the series to include the butterfly's proboscis. Butterflies at rest typically have this coiled against their head, while this one appears to have unfurled it to feed on a non-existent flower. No doubt our subject was confused. I, however, am not confused. As such, I have no qualms in saying that this was a lovely piece that I look forward to seeing in my folder again someday, Yanosh. Next, we have Katarev of Switzerland, with his piece also being called Unknown.png. Katarev's piece was lacking in color, but not in boldness. The thickness of the outside lines for the wings is striking, and gives the impression of thick, powerful wings. His anatomy for the wings is also accurate, featuring two forewings and two hindwings, respectively. Katarev's wings also feature veins, making it the only one in the collection to do so. The anatomy somewhat falls apart between the wings, however, again featuring only a single long stretch of body. His butterfly also appears to be rather plump, but as previously stated, with such powerful wings, I doubt that's a problem for it. The butterfly's top half features two antennae. 
As with Classy's submission, this is a bird's eye shot, so the bottom of the butterfly can only be speculated upon. But were it to contain legs, that would make this butterfly the most anatomically accurate butterfly in the series. In any case, while the belly of this butterfly may be great, so too is my appreciation of this piece. Thank you, Katarev. For our fourth entry, we have Tartsmat of Germany's ever popularly titled Unknown.png. Tartsmat was actually the first person I asked to draw this, and his entry inspired me to ask for more. As with Yonosha's piece, Tartsmat decided to go for a side shot. His butterfly's body is anatomically accurate, containing three distinct segments, with two antennae atop its head. The rest of the butterfly begins to fall apart, however. This is the first butterfly we can definitively state to have no legs. Incidentally, I had asked if that rogue brush mark on the ground was meant to imply that it had lost its legs. He assured me that was not the case. With this butterfly, we are back down to two wings. There appears to be some sort of a pattern adorning the wings, but in truth it's somewhat indecipherable. Whether the two long lines stretching from the vaguely circular structure are meant to be veins or not, I can't say with any degree of certainty. However, I much appreciate the perspective on having one wing in front of the other. It gives this butterfly a sense of space and presence unlike any of the other submissions, and I would say it lifts this piece up where it otherwise may have faltered. But of course, it's the job of the wings to lift the butterfly. Were it not for this piece, this video would not exist. So make no mistake, Tards Matt, this is a fantastic piece on its own terms. Finally, we have Kerr of 215 Bison's Field Lane, Boulder, Colorado, United States 80303, gate code 215 asterisk, with his piece, sorry underscore not underscore sorry dot png. In the opening, I mentioned that human ingenuity has allowed us to pursue art as a hobby, a creative endeavor rather than a plea of survival. I don't think any piece captures that idea more so than Kerr's submission. Where each of the other artists opted for the paintbrush tool, Kerr decided to go for the line and shape tools. In most cases, this would take too much time to be considered, but Kerr made the decision to mirror one of the wings to the opposite side, cutting the time down significantly and making this undoubtedly the cleanest butterfly of them all. You won't find any rogue brush marks here, this is a butterfly composed of raw precision and planning. Still, I can't help but wonder if we lost something along the way. The chaotic scribbly brushes of the previous butterflies, I think, were a reminder of the chaotic and unpredictable reality of nature. Here we find only the cold calculation of machines, raw code filling in the gaps of Kerr's actions to create a butterfly that, while recognizable in form, is nevertheless as cold and uncaring as the machine that was used to produce it. I could remark on the anatomy, but at this point, I think doing so is something of a fool's errand. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure, Kerr, far from it. While I don't think your piece is the most appealing of the entries, yours is undoubtedly the most thought-provoking of them all. And for that, I have to thank you. And speaking of thank yous, thank you for watching. I had a lot of fun with this video. This was something sort of unexpected, even on my end but I hope you enjoyed nevertheless. If people enjoyed this video, maybe I'll do another one in a similar vein. But for now, back to gaming.